Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to clone Mac OS X Catalina to a new M2 SSD so the operation is really simple so I'm attaching the new SSD external to an external case I will show you later in the video but you can put the SSD directly on your computer but imagine that you have one inside and there is no space for another one that's how you do it you attach it external okay so it's formatted using disk utility and now we, we are ready to start the clone operation we may quit disk utility and now we will use carbon copy cloner I will leave the link in the video description so select your source and select your destination it will be our new SSD and install CCC privilege and we are ready to go so the operation will take some time depending on the size of your SSD the video will be edited to be shorter so as you can see it's already copying all the files from my source to my new destination and now it's already copied so it's comparing files to check if there is something missing and this application carbon copy cloner is free so you may use it for 30 days and as you can see the new SSD already have a lot of files and it's a total clone of my actual installation so the process is almost done if you have a real Mac after this you will have a new cloned installation and this works for Mojave, for Catalina, for iSierra, Sierra, Snow Leopard, El Capitan and all, all but I think that open source is not working yet okay but for all the others you can use this carbon copy cloner it's an ideal application to clone your OS X installation Don't forget if this video is helping you somehow to leave uh, a like on the video, it will be really appreciated. Okay, so the process, if you have a real Mac, is finished. But keep watching because I will show you now uh, the case, the external case I used to, to be able to connect the disk to my computer. Okay, so uh, if you are using an Akintosh, your installation will not be will not be able to boot unless you install a bootloader. Okay, so as I told you, the Carbon Copy Cloner is thirty days of use. So every time I use it, I uninstall in order that I can use it whenever I want. Okay, so I, I will be using Unibeast to install a bootloader so this is how you install Clover bootloader from Unibeast you just select uh, Wi-Fi just and then select the, the disk you want and this will install your bootloader in, in FI partition okay but instead of Clover I will be using OpenCore and I already have the folder with the files that I need so I will replace this Clover installation with my OpenCore installation ok 
okay so I have here the files all the kernel extensions so it's really easy so copy this fi to the new ssd fi okay it's done so right now we are ready to boot from this disk if i'm using an akintosh okay so this is the new ssd if you buy one of these be be sure to buy nvme because it's it runs faster than this one this one is it's not nvme and so the only thing that it distinguishes from a normal ssd is that it is smaller and you can put it inside your directly to your motherboard without cables okay so this is the external case this is how i attached to my computer in order to do the cloning i will now try to boot from it just to show you that is working really nice this box i bought it from ebay once again if you are watching the video and you are getting some value from this don't forget to give it a, a like okay and consider to subscribe I'm always posting new videos okay so attach the all my disks are disconnected just for you to see okay no disks connected the only disk will be this one okay right now i need to assess my boot manager so f12 in my gigabyte motherboard okay and now i will select the bootloader which is open core so we see here the the new ssd uh, inside that box so it's J micron generic it's the box but we will be putting through open core and as you can see it will boot really fast let me know if you are also an hacking tosher leave your comment below i have been hacking toshing since uh, 2008 i started with a leopard okay that's it that's how you clone your catalina installation thank you see you on another video bye if you like this video, please subscribe.